Keith Brinke from Top of My News here with Nick, the ninja I love Denis. Fantastic debut last night at UFC uh, on FX1. You know, talk about uh, talk about that fantastic fight. Uh, well, I, I want to start off strong, uh, be the first one to initiate. Uh, so I threw, I think, a, like a cross at first. And uh, he shelled up, put his arms up, and so I didn't hit him, but I know he felt I, I know he felt the power through through his his guard, and so I stayed aggressive on him and uh, ended up getting the tie clinch. And instead of throwing the knee, I saw his hands. I haven't seen really uh, analyzed it much, but I knew his hands were down, and so I thought, okay, I'm gonna go for the elbow. And I landed the first one, and uh, the way he reacted made me think, just keep going. He's almost out, and a couple more, and he fell. Now that description took longer than the actual fight, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and it was an incredible display. Um, were you practicing the elbows and training a lot? Did, I haven't seen this from you before. Uh, well, I mean, I, I always liked the elbows. Um, it's not something that I like a game plan for this fight or anything like that. Like I wasn't uh, expecting to use it, but uh, it was there, and so I went for it. And, and what was the game plan for the night? The game plan was to throw uh, a few combos, just a, a couple. Uh, and make him feel like, okay, well, the fight's going to be standing, and then go for a takedown off of my own uh, strikes or off of him. He likes to move forward, so if he's going to become aggressive, to shoot under his strikes. Um, but as soon as I felt the way he reacted to my strikes, I knew I wasn't going to take him down. I actually had a quick flash of a thought, like the, the Nagara fight with Mir. I thought, when he, he, I, he clearly he's, he's not liking this, so why, I, I thought I could take him down, but why bother? Because obviously it's going in the, the right direction. Well, absolutely. Um, you know, so you got uh, you know knocked out of the night. Um, you know, you come out of this, come out of the fight, twenty-two second knockout, standing elbows, fantastic. You know, typical McDenny style. Um, immediately, are you thinking? You know, first fight of the night, you, you're hoping that nobody else knocks somebody out. Uh, I was thinking that. Uh before the fight, I was thinking I, I was looking for a bonus before the fight. But yeah, as soon as as soon as the fight ended, yeah, I was just like, oh my god, I hope no one else gets a knockout. <laughs> I could really, I'd really love that money. So yeah. And you see Pat Barry, he, you know, they call it a knockout as well. Definitely, I didn't think it was in the your style right. as, as uh, in your class of a knockout, but. They tend to give it to those main eventers. Were you a little worried? Yeah, I, you know, he got his knockout, and uh, and I was like, oh, you know, one, he's a heavyweight, you know, and he's on the on the main card, and I was like, oh, so I was I, I was thinking, okay, my fight's really short; it's only twenty two seconds. It's got to at least make it onto the the main card, like be shown on uh, on FX uh, for them to, to to get it. I'm like, come on, just show it. It's twenty two seconds. Twenty two seconds. Come on, you can do it. And at the end of the night, they showed it on uh, after the Guillard fight. And uh, so I was like, okay, I think I think I have a good chance. <laughs> just waiting, just waiting. Yeah, and they end up they seem to give him a bonus for the fight of the night, even though right. uh, another bantamweight bout with Mike Easton seemed to be uh, quite exciting. But uh, yeah, it was fantastic for you to get that. Now, uh, you know, you know, talk about your training. You're at, you know with Wade Shanley for years. Uh, I know you're on a TriStar. Um, you know, we'll talk about your training, your training partners. Well, in Ottawa, yeah, I've been uh, with Ronan for years. Um, you know, I've. Grown up there, I guess you could say, in terms of the MMA experience. Uh, I love all those guys. You know, they've helped me grow from from the first day I started till till now. Um, great group of guys. Uh, last year I moved to Montreal and I was there for I don't know seven months or so. I ended up coming back to Ottawa, which I trained for for my last fight uh, in Rec MMA. And then uh, as soon as I signed on for this fight, I went back to Montreal and uh, just crashed at my girlfriend's place, lived with her, because uh, she still lives in Montreal, and did my training uh, at TriStar, and uh, training was great, you know, training twice a day, training hard, and uh, working specific things. Uh, I didn't actually end up using my wrestling for it, but... No, and, and you came in there looking shredded, even the weigh-ins, like, you look in much better shape than your opponent. Did you, did you feel the confidence? Did you... Did you you know, just looking at him the weigh-ins? Uh, no, I mean, yeah, I, I felt like I, yeah, I definitely looked a bit bigger, but, I mean, that doesn't mean too, too much, you know, if someone's really good, I mean, what, what gave me the confidence was, you know, watching some of his fights and seeing uh, what he did and who he was doing it against and how they reacted and how he reacted to, uh, all, during those fights. That gave me the confidence that I didn't think he would, 
legitimately pose too many problems. It, it really surprised me. There's tape of you out there, and you, you look at your record and all the knockouts that someone, you know, with you know, wouldn't recognize your power like that. And uh, you know, maybe he'd be game planning to take you down the whole time. But. Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, I don't want to speak poorly or, or negatively about uh, Joseph because he seemed like a really great, nice guy. Sure. You know, before and after the fight. But I think he's, uh, you know, a stand-up guy through and through, and uh, and that's his thing. So I think even if he was fighting, you know, like uh, Alistair Overeem, he was still going to plan on standing. You know. Yeah. Well, we've seen you know highly real knockout after knockout. This was the fastest Canadian knockout in UFC since UFC five. Missed the record by one second. <laughs> you know, we saw you do the slam with Mamelis last, and and now here the standing elbow KO. You know, all Canada was behind you and, you know, wishes you all success. You know, uh, thank you very much, Nick Denny. Thank you very much.